go to field today. So I'll show you the field right here. And even if you're not doing a field, this also works for like grass, um, ground, dirt. Um, there's a lot of different techniques. So it's kind of rolls over a little bit. All right, so my colors I need, if we look at that, um, obviously the yellow. With yellow, there's like two different types. There's, um, there's the, like the brighter yellow and there's cad D. So this is like a warm yellow. So if you get the deep yellow, that's more of a warm color, which looks a little nicer. And for green, I'll use a cool yellow and black. So I use cool yellow, that's cad medium, and then uh, deep hue. Once again, um, if you're not jamming on your painting, it would be worth watching this show. Take notes on it. This is like basic concept, so I'm not just going to be like, well, I'm not doing flowers today. So the more you watch, take notes. Um, because Art 2's last semester, they had, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, zero painting demonstrations. So you guys are like painting virgins. But we got to make sure that you guys are doing uh, starting over from scratch, more or less. Okay, so with this, go back to my field. Uh, when you start with the background, so um, colors change. So pretty much, as the further you go back, the less contrast you have, and the less uh, variation in uh, color. So color changes, value changes. Those two things. But at first, I'm gonna start too dark. So when you're doing fields. Um, I'd use a small bright brush back here. All of the field kind of run over into this thing. Um, so for the green, all I'm using is black and yellow currently. And then I'll um, um, get this on here. So this is the base coat. On the base coat, you want to be aware of a couple of things. One of them is beware of brush strokes and value. So um, color can change pretty easy. You don't have to worry about that. And then when I paint, a lot of people when I paint, it, they want to do this. I have no idea why. So if you're doing fields, you'll like go back and forth like this. Um, that's terrible. Don't do that. It's embarrassing. If you do that to get the paint on, make sure you go back over it again and kind of tap it. So if I can zoom in here, I'll show you. All right, so with my brush strokes, I'm coming in here, kind of tap, rolling the brush. I'm not vertical like this. I'm not actually painting. The brush is like, like, this is flat. I pick it up just a little bit and I'll get like a nice variety of textures. And so you wanna like confuse people. Um, you, you shouldn't have a, a landscape or a field or whatever, or they look at it and they go, ooh, I know how they painted that. So if you hide your brush strokes and make more combinations, um, it'll look way better. So this is the first here. Base coat, so I have some yellows. I have brown, then after I have a little bit, I'm gonna change color. I'll dip it in more of the cool yellow. And if you add white to anything more opaque, um, so it covers better, so I have a little bit of white in there. Now I'm doing a little, oh, can't see my colors. I'll do a little raw sienna, a little brown. And I'm going all horizontal strokes, and I'm kind of tapping it like so, like this. Hold it kind of loose and tap it like I have a seizure or Parkinson's. So it's like if you have Parkinson's, you're, uh, you're set for this. If you don't, you just gotta fake it. And then the paint you put on there needs to be pretty loose and kind of wet. So you don't wanna do dry paint because um, so it won't come off the brush that, that easily. I'll tap it in the blue again for the white. So now I'm gonna the, um, get some more darker values, put it here in a second. And then I'll skip down here as well. So instead of changing color all the time, you can just move your uh, your brush more often. Um, that works. I'll get an example of that here in one second. Cancel. Whoa. Cancel. Oh. All right. So with this, I have my scene right there. So I'm gonna go like a darker green. I'm gonna go like a little bit of black, black and yellow. If you go from like a dark value to a light value to avoid getting like weird gray looking things, you need to rinse off your brush a little bit. So if you go from like a 
a dark green to like a really light, and it'll turn out more gray than anything. Now I'll tap into different yellows. Coming back in there. This is all the base notes up for all horizontal strokes. So all horizontal strokes, small ones though, changing color all the time. And for the colors, I write down the colors of the museum, which is wild sienna, cat uh, yellow medium, cat yellow deep. Those are the major colors. All right, so now I have the brush strokes on there. You can kind of see them. I've got a little more yellow on the sides. Sure, why not? So it shows up a little bit more on the side. And then tapping the brush stroke, moving it around. So at first, I'm scrubbing more. So watch this. Here it goes. Ooh, I'll zoom in a bit more. That'll be hardcore. What? Can he get any closer? Nice. All right, now we're talking. All right, so that's way better. Um, so this right here, you can see all the brush strokes. Um, so I start off kind of smooth. When I do smooth, watch this. Hold my beer, watch this. And like come in here, scrub a little bit where I don't even like lift my brush, then I'll change color. So right now I'm not even lifting my, I'm not tapping, I'm not brushing, I'm sort of scrubbing different directions. And I'm getting rid of some of the bad colors. Now this area right here, you can take your finger, get a little bit wet, and then tap it in there. So it's kind of like finger painting. I'll blurt it out nice and subtle. And then as I get closer uh, to the sides, I'm gonna have more contrast, getting darker down here. So I'm gonna add more darker green. Right now it's a solid black. Then it changed to green. If I just add yellow right into the green, it'll uh, morph that into like a nice uh, value of green. So in the reference, it gets darker in the foreground, and it gets lighter the further away it goes. And right now, it's too splotchy with the, uh, with the yellow, too much contrast. So what I'll do is I'll go back in, dull it out with maybe a little raw umber, another color which is nice for dark green. So dark green, if you use like yellow, black, and a little bit of raw umber, um, it's pretty successful. Looks good, kind of simple. All right, so then after you have that, I'm gonna take a uh, wet towel, dip it in water, and then kind of wring it out a little bit. Not like heck of wring it out, but so I'm dipping in the water right now. I have this like wet towel, and to get rid of some of these brush strokes, um, I'll take this wet towel, make it kind of loose, Lightly tap it. So then it's like, wow, what kind of brush strokes are those? I don't recognize them. Focus. And right here, way too rough. So I'll come in here and then blur it out into the dirt. Because God made dirt and it can't hurt. Now I'll go back over the top of this. A little more yellow. So it's layered. So you can't, don't try to mix like the perfect color. Instead, so realize the perfect color comes about by putting one color on top of another color on top of another color. If you try to mix the perfect color and do one layer, it won't look as good. And I'll write down your notes, everything you paint should have at least like four or five layers on it, especially skies. Like even if you like your color of your sky, that's only one layer, you really gotta go back in and add more layers to it, even if you like the color. Sounds weird, but when you see what's done, you can sense the depth in it. I don't wanna sound like a hippie, um, you really, by looking at it, you can tell there's a lot of layers. All right, so now I got the base. This is the base coat, all horizontal. Let me check the reference again. Yeah, all right, that's good. All right, so now that I have the, this is the base coat, a lot of colors. You can't tell when you zoom in even. You can't tell how it's done. It's sort of a mix of like a lot of different styles of brush strokes. Some are small, some are larger. Um, now that part's done. I'm gonna come in and add some highlights to it. I'll show you that. So with this, I get rid of this brush, bright brush, get out a nice round brush, which I just so out and have, and oddly enough, a little bit of a toothbrush. I know what you're thinking. 
No way. That is too crazy. But that's how we paint here. On the crazy side. So right here, normal paintbrush. I'm going to dip it into the uh, yellow over here. I'll like scrub it out. And we'll add some of the medium yellow. Dip that in there. Dip it in water. So now I have this like little, uh, little puddle of yellow. Then after I do that with the toothbrush, I'll come back here to the top and I'll spray down here a little bit. Uh, illusion of flowers. I'm going to lighten it up so you can see it better. More contrast. A little lighter yellow. Dip it back in the water again. And the more water you put on, uh, the more you'll be able to see it. And right now, when you do this, you can see little yellow dots. And right now, it looks like somebody um, splattered toothbrush on it. Want to know why? Because I did. Now back here, it's gonna be more solid. Then up here, uh, to make larger dots for the field, all I have to do is dip it more in water. Come in here. Now it's even soupier. The wetter the paint, the bigger the dots. So now I'm gonna have some bigger dots over here. All right, so this is layer two. Not even close to being done. All right, so then, after you get that done, so we gotta hide the techniques. So you don't want any, even if you really like your techniques, you gotta get rid of them. So, warm up the hands a little bit, then just spank it a little bit. Warm it up again, and spank. Warm, spank, and spank. And so when you spank it, um, it blurs out some of them, little patches, and you can take your finger, tap that out a little bit, so now I have this nice variety of of like smaller and uh, larger um, techniques here. All right, so that is layer three or whatever. All right, now I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna add some details. My phone keeps timing out. So obnoxious. Okay, so now I'll come in here with the, the brighter yellow. And then this is gonna be just a few of them here and there. And with flowers, um, you can see those big patches here where they're like too big and little dots. Um, I'll do bigger ones down here. So for scale, you want them to be like smaller further back you go. These big ones, I don't want to put them here. But right now they look like dots that you put on the brush. So take your finger then tap those out a little bit. So you hide your techniques again. Arm up the finger. So you can see like every technique I put on there, I sort of hide it and get rid of it. All right, so now, and if you have any questions while I'm doing this, um, just unmute, ask me, I'm more than happy to explain things or if you have variations, you know, what about this, what about that? I'm going to help you guys out. Can you show us how to do um, like cracks in the ground? Yeah, I can do cracks right next to here, so I can go back in here and do some crack. Yeah, so crack rock coming after the field. All right, so here's a paper towel. Watch this. The, the school towels are great. Uh, these are softer at home, but they work okay. Um, get this so it's kind of like tight and dry, and take your teeth, and then bite it. So it should be kind of like bristly, a little, little sharp, little sharp action. All right, so then after you have that, I'm gonna take my brush, mix this juicy stuff up right here. When I get barely, so this is really dry. Take this really dry thing, dip that in the wet paint, and then it goes barely, put it in and flick it up a little bit. So it's just a flick of that wrist, flick of that wrist. And this is the, and I'll do another little patch over here. And then by the time I come up here, all it's going to be is like a quick little, watch this, dip, and I'll barely flick it. Now it's more of a variety again. Right here is too systematic though. I'll take my finger and then blot that out. Some of it's blurry, some of it's not. 
All right, so that's another phase. Paper towel, flick for like a good solid <clears throat> grass. All right, next phase, flowers um, and grasses. I'm gonna take this, milk the kitten. So it should be like a nice, clean, sharp blade. And then we'll come back in, really skinny lines, and add some that are close up, not tons. We'll use a few, and people think the whole thing looks good. But most of it looks like crap, except for a few of them. I'll melt the kitten again. Then back here, I'll just do a few of the highlights up here, just the tips of the grass. All right. Then I'll zoom back a little bit so you can see what it looks like, more actual size. That's about it. Actually, it's still a little zoomed in, but that's okay. Now I'll take the darker shadows, and at the base of this, right here, if you're looking into the grass, you're gonna be able to see like the dark. Right here, I'll start with a little bit of a line and flick that dark value up into the grass. And that way it looks like you're looking in to the tall grass, not on top of it. And you can lick your finger <laughs> and blur that out a little bit. Is that look black? Yeah, it should have a little brown in it. That was too much black, honestly. Um, brown, I'll add a little more brown. So black and brown is good. I'll do a little more patches over here, so let's kind of see that cutaway section. Jagged. Then I'll flick it up again. All right, so now I'll add some flowers to it. Like more hardcore flowers. I'll go like light yellow. My up close ones. So you can see all the process. So painting is not left to right, it's loose to tight. So I go in here, each brush stroke will be like a little petal. I'll go lighter too. And then you kind of pull it toward the middle. That is so adorable. My cute little flower. And watch this. Down here, I'll do a couple little babies. Baby flowers down there. And then, because this is a mommy flower, and this is a daddy flower, and they have little babies. And it's not appropriate for me to tell you how that happens. That's a different class, but you get the idea. And then I'll come in here, maybe I'll do it like a really good one here. So push down, then as I go up to make the petal skinnier, lift up a little bit. Down and pull. Down and pull. Down and pull. Down and pull. I'll zoom in so you can see it better. All right, and here's another flower here. I like this one. This one's like a blossoming flower. It's only three petals. So it's like down, pull, down, pull, down, pull. Then another little couple babies. If the babies are too obvious, take your finger, tap it out a little bit, then it blurs it. Then I'll back out. And you print then right here, see this section here? Um, in your reference, there's a little bit of variety. Instead of like a perfect green field like that, you know, you want to add weed. So definitely add weed to it. Uh, weed makes it look a lot better, more realistic. Kind of like our school's lawn. We try to make it perfect, but they can't. So with weeds, I'll show you that. This is a weed show, everybody. Weed show coming up. And it's good for deserts or whatever else. So you're gonna start like too dark. Come in here. What I do is I melt the kitten almost every brush stroke. And I'll get it so it comes over here. So this will be the base. And you're doing weeds, you want to make sure that you have a lot of contrast, wet paint, and come in here and kind of drag it down. Nice, chunky weed. See the bottom right here? Where you can see the total bottom? I would blur it out a little bit. <laughs> What's that? I couldn't record it on this. Oh, maybe I did. 
remember if I said it was recording. I don't know. I'm not sure. I might be recording. Stop share. No, I don't, I'm not recording. All right, so I forgot that weed there. They don't take up um, highlights on this thing. Tenth of it. And then go back in and get just a few little highlights. And that can also have some blossoms as well. Just for the sake of contrast. Got one there, one there, one there. All right, so you got the little weed action. And here, I like how this is all the same. Um, so right down, breakup. It's, if you look at it, you know, a lot of the same values, colors. Go back in, go like, you know what? This is kind of boring. So each section of your field should have like kind of an exciting section to it. Like right here, go in, a little bit darker. Maybe it's a weed, maybe it's just darker grass. Yeah, it's a little blonde. It's, it's like too obvious. Sarah, see the brush strokes? Those are terrible. So then we'll take the finger, tap that out, and haze it out a little bit. And then I'll go over it again with more layers, like lighter grass on top of it. 